is based on the moon. This morning, so many of us are sharing our memories of longtime KTVU news anchor Leslie Griffith, both as viewers having grown up watching her and also as a colleague. Leslie Griffith died at her home in Mexico. Family members say in recent years she had battled Lyme disease. Her career spanned 22 years at KTVU, most notably as an anchor of the 10 o'clock news with Dennis Richman. Our Tom Baker now looks back at her life and her work. Leslie Griffith spent more than two decades, many of those years, alongside Dennis Richman, providing news and information to KTVU viewers. Good evening, I'm Leslie Griffith. Before anchoring, Leslie was a fearless reporter who often worked in dangerous circumstances, gathering information and writing the stories that gave her incredible presence in news live broadcasts. On the anchor desk, when major stories broke, without question, Leslie became the master of the three-ring circus that breaking news often becomes. Like an air traffic controller, she deftly went from one source to another, without script in hand, asking probing questions of newsmakers, experts, and fellow journalists. Whenever a reporter had new information or a new interviewee, she would go directly to that person immediately to assure the viewers the latest information. Before television, she cut her journalism teeth at the Associated Press and the Denver Post. Concerned with the problem of tuberculosis and circus elephants for many years, she championed getting elephants out of circuses. In 2005, she founded the Leslie R. Griffith Woman of Courage Scholarship to help young women. She always remained a prolific writer for the likes of the Huffington Post and the San Francisco Chronicle. Leslie Griffith. The woman who hailed from Tomball, Texas, population 12,000, passed away Wednesday, August 10th, 2022, in Lake Chapala, Mexico. So many of us in the newsroom right now, Allie, had the honor and pleasure of being able to work with Leslie after watching her growing up here in the Bay Area. A complete professional, what Tom just said was absolutely right. She was calling me on the phone when I was out reporting, you know, all around the Bay Area. So, did you ask so-and-so? We'll talk to this person. Oh, wait, I know someone who can handle that. A, a great help to reporters and to the whole news organization. And you can tell uh, just by the comments that uh, some of the, her former colleagues have been discussing and talking about uh, you and Pam as well, uh, just how much she was respected. And I only had, I didn't have the honor of meeting her in person ever, but uh, I do remember growing up watching her and thinking, uh, you know, what a professional. I would love to do that someday, so um, she will be missed. Yeah, yeah. A lot of us, like I said, are talking about Leslie, remembering our favorite stories of her. We do have what is really a lovely look back at Leslie Griffith's work and legacy here at KTVU on our website. You'll see it there on the homepage of KTVU.com. A lot of people thinking and talking about Leslie Griffith this morning. All right, 830.